Hey Danielle, good to see you back in Amsterdam. Thanks Fred, it's good to be here. So what do you want to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about the new EU cybersecurity law, the mm-hmm. EU NIST directive. Mm-hmm. So what can you tell about it? To whom does it apply? Sure, um, the Network and Information Security Directive is the EU's first cybersecurity law. Uh, through transposition into national legislation, it will apply in all 28 EU member states. Um, it covers uh, companies in two categories. The first one is operators of essential services. And those are companies in the energy sector, transportation sector, healthcare sector, certain financial companies, suppliers and distributors of drinking water, and uh, digital infrastructure providers like internet exchange points. Uh, the second uh, category of companies is digital service providers. And within that, there are three uh, sectors, cloud service providers, uh, online search companies, and online marketplaces. There are um, some exceptions for smaller DSPs that aren't covered. Okay, interesting. And what, what do they need to do in, sure. this, in this EU law? Uh, generally speaking, there's, there's three things they need to do. First of all, they need to take appropriate and proportionate uh, technical and organizational measures to manage the risks uh, to their networks and information systems. And those measures uh, need to have regard for state of the art. They need to take steps to prevent and minimize the impact of incidents to those networks and information systems. Um, and they need to notify competent authorities of uh, security incidents of certain magnitudes. Um, they, uh, these requirements are related to the networks and information systems that support the essential or digital services they provide. And uh, they have to do this whether or not the, the operator of essential service or digital service provider, whether or not they manage their own networks and information systems or they outsource it. Mm-hmm. It's an EU law, you said, so does it mean that it's enforced out of Brussels? Uh, yes and no. It's an EU law, but because it's a directive, all 28 EU countries uh, have to uh, pass their own laws or, or bring them into um, uh, compliance with the NIST directive. Um, and so that's where things will vary. Some EU countries already have pretty robust cybersecurity laws, so the amount of changes they've had to make is not that big. Others, uh, this is new, and so they're, they're passing pretty substantive laws. Um, the, the important thing is for, for companies, they have to follow the law of the EU member state in which they have their main establishment. Uh, the EU Network and Information Security Agency, ANISA, has issued some guidance for the NIS directive. Companies might want to take a look at that. But the important thing is that companies should uh, consult their inside counsel or, or outside law firms to learn for sure if they are covered and what they need to do. So it's my turn, Fred. So you're a former CISO. Uh, If you were working in one of the companies that's covered by the NIS directive, uh, what would you do? Well, thanks for asking. And as you already stated, uh, every operator of essential services uh, or digital service providers in the EU needs to comply to this uh, NIST directive. So this means that uh, they need to take measures that account for state of the art to manage the risks in those uh, uh, network and information systems. So they must take appropriate security measures to prevent and minimize uh, the impact of security incidents. And besides this, they also have the obligation to report uh, incidents if they happen to the authorities. So and as a responsible person for security, uh, a CISO or an IT security manager, the first thing you need to do is to become in control of those risks. Uh, of the network and information systems. So, so I, I would focus on that, on that what matters, and start with the visibility and make sure that I know what's in place. Mm-hmm. Uh, this means uh, in simple terms that first I need to know which network and information systems are supporting my services and, and how they are currently secured. Mm-hmm. Uh, second of all, I need to know uh, which products I use to secure them. And are they state of the art? Thirdly, I need to know which measures we are taking uh, to prevent and minimize the impact of of security incidents. And finally, uh, I need to know if I can track the impact of incidents and if I'm able to notify the authorities if a security breach will happen. So those are the four things I would focus on. Okay, so this is the end of our interview. What is uh, some main takeaways that, that you want the audience to know? Well, the main takeaway is that uh, because it, it simply, uh, the EU NIST directive requires good management uh, of the risks of the network and information systems, I would take a first pragmatic step uh, to get the visibility of what you have in place, of all your network and information systems that you have in place, 
how good you are doing currently and, and how you can improve this. So take a look at the visibility first, what mm -hmm. you have in place and, and inventorize that. And, and second of all, I, I would uh, advise not to reinvent the wheel, but attend our upcoming webinar in which you will explain all these things and allow us to assist you. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Well, good to talk to you. Same here.